Hello everybody. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so please shall I not talk again? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm sure you're wondering why I'm laughing. I have like recorded this video like this is like the fourth time I've been trying to record it. <laughs> and uh, my sister here is feeling like <laughs> what is this what it takes okay guys i'm not going to edit this particular one anymore okay so yeah welcome this is baby good and i'm going to be talking about my favorite baby right here i should give her a name yeah she's my sewing machine and i should give her a name her name should be jennifer uh-huh yeah so jennifer right here is by the way she's over over 50 years old because the year this particular sewing machine was made 1940 kind of yeah so so it's over over 50 and even 60 years old so yeah please pardon me the noise in the background there's nothing i can do about it but yeah pardon me <laughs> so um i'd be doing a series tagged know your sewing machine and i'm going to be showing you guys a thing or two about sewing machines and how to what they mean what these different parts mean how to maintain them and um possibly how to troubleshoot okay so if you love to sew you know sewing machine is going to be your baby however once a sewing machine has troubles and have issues and it's not stitching properly perhaps or the thread keeps breaking that can be frustrating so I thought to ease you guys the stress so let's go right into the video so guys um here she is here is jennifer and um jennifer is a singer 201k mark one yes okay guys let's go right into the video please so i'm going to be talking about something i think we we majorly do not even know about okay it's called the stitch length regulator this right here this metal right here it's just a round metal sitting at this part here sorry this is it right here okay it's just beside this lever that goes up and down okay but this is what I'd like to talk about right here it's called the stitch length regulator it is found in most black heads be it butterfly singer whatever make most blackheads have the stitch length regulator and this is what it does what this stitch length regulator does is it helps you to put a a barrier okay it helps you to determine exactly what stitch you want okay so now the benefit of this is sometimes this stitch length take up lever this stitch length lever it sometimes can move past the particular part you want it to be okay so if it has a little fault and then it's um shaky it can move past the particular part you want it to be so that is where the stitch length regulator comes into play so to use it you loosen the the regulator and then you move it okay you can either go up or you go down now now if i want the stitch length to be here i'll just put take my stitch length lever to the particular stitch length i want and then this is already losing the regulator is already losing so i'll just move the regulator to the part where it can't move again okay so if i move it a bit it can't move again okay then i'll tighten it there when you tighten it there 
however you decide to move this stitch length take um this stitch length lever up or down it would never go past that particular part it was when you adjusted the regulator okay so now this is the the, the benefits major benefits of this is whilst sewing sometimes you could just back stitch and then you know and go back to your front stitch now when you go back to the front stitch sometimes you may not get the particular length stitch length you want okay now it may take a little while now that's why you just to avoid this just use the regulator now another benefit is in this case in this kind of machine the figures written here because this machine is very old the figures written uh, at the side of the stitch length lever have all wiped off they've all cleaned off okay so you may not know the exact so it's difficult to determine the exact length you want right now that's where this stitch length regulator actually comes to play okay so you can just use the stitch length regulator to determine where you want now try try sewing on a scrap of material and determine if you're okay with that stitch length if you are not okay with that stitch length regulate it before you finally tighten the regulator when you regulate it using your stitch length lever and you are okay with the particular stitch length that you want then you tighten the regulator and once you've tightened the regulator that's it keep sewing if you like backstage go back you just know that when you're going back you go back to the lowest point because you cannot go past that particular part that you have set it all right guys so there you have it guys <laughs> i'm sure you now know the benefits of a stitch length regulator and i'm sure that you start using it from henceforth you do not want to have irregular kind of stitch length whilst sewing a project that <laughs> especially one that is for sale that's something that is for you okay so you want a consistent stitch length from the start to the finish and that is where your stitch length regulator actually comes to play and helps you to have that desired perfect finishing that you need for that project if you like this video why don't you give me a thumbs up and follow me yep and more videos are coming bye